Welcome everyone for today's video about One Piece. Before anything else, please do like, comment and subscribe on this channel. Click on the bell sign to get notification on my latest uploads videos. Sit back and enjoy. Good day. We are back and here's the part 2 of the remaining arcs in One Piece. Enjoy this video. Check the description link below for the part 1. The Last Island Arc. I believe that this arc will be important before they reach Raftal. The initial belief is that all the roots of the Grand Line eventually converge on one island in the New World. The belief is that the last island of the Grand Line and the New World was Raftal, however, this was all changed when Inurashi and Nekamesui introduced the concept of the Road Pone Glyphs and thus, the last island of the Grand Line and Raftal are two completely different islands that the Straw Hats will encounter on their journey. I do believe that the Straw Hats will travel to this last island before they reach Raftal. Pirates who just entering the New World always have the idea that they could easily reach Raftal by simply traveling to the end of the New World, reach Raftal, find the One Piece and claim the title of Pirate King. However, once they finally reach the last island on the New World, they discover it's not what think it is. According to Inurashi, this is the island where pirates looking for the One Piece would be introduced to the Pone Glyphs and introduced to the ancient civilization that built them. While the Straw Hats are on journey for Raftal and already discovered the existence of the Pone Glyphs and their importance to the overall narrative and journey, I believe that the Straw Hats should visit this island despite the fact. I say this because it all goes back what Rayleigh said back when they first met. During their meeting, Rayleigh told the crew that him and the Roger Pirates have discovered the true history of the world, however, they didn't really understand it due to their lack of information regarding the Void Century and the Ancient Kingdom. It makes sense for the Straw Hats to visit the island to get more context and understanding of the Ancient Kingdom. Robin has studied the Ancient Kingdom and the Pone Glyphs for many years since she was a child and surely knows a lot, however, I believe Robin needs more knowledge in order to fully understand the true history of the world and this last island is a great place to go. I'm sure this island becomes significant during the Void Century and a link to the kingdom that existed a long time ago. This island could even be where the Ancient Kingdom lived and prospered before being annihilated by the Twenty Kingdoms, I.e. the world government. Raftal Arc This arc has been hinted at when the Straw Hats first entered the Grand Line. This is the goal that Luffy has been training to reach. This is the place where G.O.L.D. Roger, the Pirate King, said that his treasure the One Piece was here. This is where Luffy will finally become the Pirate King. However, Luffy can't become the Pirate King without having to face some kind of challenge to achieve it. There are many theories in regards to what will happen during this arc. Is there something else waiting for Luffy besides the One Piece? Is there a challenge that Roger left behind before you can find the One Piece? Many members of the fandom believe that a very likely scenario will happen during this arc, the Straw Hats will arrive on the island, excited and anxious on finding on the One Piece. As they explore Raftal, someone will approach the Straw Hats, and that someone would be Blackbeard. He has been making big moves in the New World for the past two years in order to secure his position as the strongest pirate alive, the Pirate King. Oda has been making it very clear to set up how incredibly similar they are and are much of complete opposites they are. Blackbeard had brought his crew over to take over Raftal and this is when a battle between the Straw Hat Pirates and Blackbeard Pirates will clash with one another. Many people believe that Luffy will face Blackbeard on Raftal for the title of Pirate King. I believe that Raftal will be a place where a battle of supremacy will take place for all the big game pirates will come and attempt to take the title for themselves. People like Kid and Law or other members of the worst generation could appear to take the title for themselves if they wanted to. This arc could very much tackle the themes of forbidden knowledge and destiny. The information that the Straw Hats are going to discover are going are incredibly taboo in their society and thus, once the world government discovers Raftal. The world government will send their forces in hope to wipe out the Straw Hats and anyone who discovers the true history. While the Roger Pirates did discover the true history of the world, they could do nothing about it due to G.O.L.D. Roger on the brink of death due to his incurable disease and because they did not fully understand the true history of the world due to their lack of knowledge and understanding of the Void Century. While they could not doing anything after discovering the true history, Roger and later Whitebeard both believed that someone later down the line will inherit Roger's will and complete what Roger himself couldn't do. Throughout the story, Oda have made parallels to Luffy and Roger with Luffy have an identical personality to Roger in every aspect. Even Shanks, a member of the Roger Pirates and an apprentice to Roger, fully believed that Luffy was the embodiment of Roger and has full faith that Luffy will become a great pirate much like Roger was. Shanks passing on the straw hat is likened to passing on a torch. 
It once belonged to Roger, who gave it to Shanks, and then passed it on to Luffy. The straw hat also takes on a whole new meaning as well as it's been hinted during the reverie arc that the straw hat is linked to the will of D and the void century. The theory is that the straw hat in Marie Joyce was used as a crown or a symbol of power in the ancient kingdom and that the ruler of the ancient kingdom was known as the Pirate King. If this theory holds true in any form, this could imply that Roger's will was a will that was being passed down since the ancient kingdom was wiped out. Since Luffy both holds the middle initial D and the straw hat, Luffy bears hundreds of years of history on his shoulders and must finally complete the will that has been going on for so many years. Looking at everything, Luffy was destined to become the Pirate King and complete the objective of those before him who couldn't do it. Final War Saga This saga was to be expected after Luffy finds the One Piece. During the Marine Ford arc, Whitebeard was on the brink of death. Whitebeard's last words to the world is that someone will, indeed, find the One Piece again and when One Piece is found, a massive war will engulf the world. While the One Piece hasn't been found yet, there have been hints of something massive brewing in the background. At the end of the Dressrosa arc, Doflamigo talked about the powerful pirates and figures in the New World are preparing to face a massive battle, a battle for supremacy. Indeed, when a pirate king is finally crowned, many people will jump towards taking the crown for themselves. Meaning that pirates around the world will attempt to fight the pirate king to take the their crown. Meanwhile, the marines are attempting to to alleviate the firestorm and chaos that will happen. The marines will also stop at nothing to kill or capture the pirate king so they can bring peace to the seas. During this chaotic scene, the revolutionary will finally have the opportunity to raid Marie Joyce and rage war against the celestial dragons. Many significant will occur during this period that will plunge the world into a state of darkness. Mary Geosa Arc As to what happens to the Straw Hats after claiming the title of the best of the best are a few things. Firstly, they will discover the truth of the world, they will finally know the true history of the Void Century. After discovering the truth, the Straw Hats will probably want to start a conflict with the world government. They would know the disgusting truth of the 20 kingdoms and the world government's true nature. Following the philosophy of freedom, Luffy would want to fight the toxicity of the world government. This path could put him in correlation with Luffy's father, Monkey D. Dragon and his revolutionary ideology. With this path, Luffy can reunite with Sabo again and finally meet his biological father. We can finally see Dragon's past and why he began the revolutionary movement against the world government. This arc was first hinted at when Mary Geosa was first revealed. A location filled with immensely powerful political figures that are incredibly spoiled, twisted, and manipulative people that use the Earth status alone to perform malicious deeds such as owning and torturing slaves known as the Celestial Dragons. Luffy has had an encounter with one of these Celestial Dragons. In fact, he punched one right in the face for hurting one of his friends. Another indication that this arc was foreshadowed was when Doflamingo was giving his speech at the end of the Dress Rosa arc and stated that the Celestial Dragons need to be careful as they are going to be dragged from their high horse. This suggests and hint a revolution against the Celestial Dragons will occur and that they aren't going to hold much power for much longer. The arc was further hinted when Dragon, the leader of the Revolutionary Army, states that he's going to declare war on the Celestial Dragons. A very significant theme for this arc is the abuse of power and status. The Celestial Dragons have been abusing their power for many years since the 20 Kings of the 20 Kingdoms waged war against the Ancient Kingdom and won. Since their dominance over the world, they believe that they were entitled to such power due to being descendants of the original 20 Kings. Ever since gaining such power, they abused to the point that crossed many ethical and moral boundaries, such as owning and torturing slaves, and shedding innocent blood. The Revolutionary Army however, believe them to the sole reason that the world is so poisoned and corrupt. This is the reason Monkey D. Dragon have grew the revolutionary army so one day he could rise up against them and destroy the establishment of the Celestial Dragon so he could establish a much better system of power for the world government. Momoro Arc There has been very little evidence to this arc happening, however, I believe Oda has put in very subtle hints that this arc might happen. Originally, it was going to be the Baltigo Arc, but that was back before we realized that Baltigo was completely destroyed when the Blackbeard pirates invaded the island to claim a weapon statch on the island. Since then, Momoro has become the new base for the Revolutionary Army, due to her connection to Ivankov since he's the queen of the island. Considering that virtually no one is going to track down the Revolutionary Army to the island, I believe that the Straw Hats will visit the island for and finally meet the Revolutionary Army and Monkey D Dragon. The Straw Hats could then take part of Revolutionary Army's war with Tay Celestial Dragons and invade Marie Joyce or New Marine Fort. 
Having the Okamas and the Revolutionary Army prepping for a war against the Celestial Dragons lays the groundwork for a pretty impactful theme, the discrimination against those who oppose a traditionalist system and a part of the LGBT and community. The world government, run by humans, have established a society in which any who oppose the traditions of such society or any being that is considered a non-human, such as a fishman or a giant. Okamas hold a non-traditional ideology of embracing the maiden's way despite typically identifying as male. Ivankov has managed to change the status quo by being capable of changing someone's gender and by being a ruler of a nation that people to practice what they believe in. This allows someone true and complete freedom for anyone and this ideology very much works well in the revolutionary army. This theme is very much reflective in real life society. For many years in recent history, those who don't identify as non-binary were severely discriminated against. The governments of the world saw people who identified as non-binary much like a disease and dragged them through the dirt, used mainstream media to taint their name and as time went on, words and concepts that didn't follow the traditional heterosexual straight relationships were synonymous with disgust. Oda is using this theme for the Okamas to join the revolutionary army to allow them to practice what they truly believe in. New Marineford Arc This arc definitely could happen based on many of the evidence that Oda have added into the manga. Firstly, this is based on the idea of continuing one's will. During the Marineford arc, Akino killed Ace and left a lasting scar on Luffy, Sabo, Garp, the Whitebeard pirates and many of the pirates around the world. As Luffy was escaping, Marco has stated that Ace's will will not die here and that someone else will take up Ace's will. This was seen during the Dress Rosa arc when Sabo fought for Ace's fruit and eventually won and took on his power. Sabo then promises to fulfill Ace's will and continue on his legacy. Seeing that both Sabo and Luffy have beef with Akainu, I believe one day they will return to enact their revenge. I can see how this arc could go down. Straw Hats will probably invade New Marine Fort for a particular reason as they are engaging Marine forces, the Straw Hat Grand Fleet will appear and assist them. Now the full force of the Straw Hat Pirates will be unleashed and New Marine Fort will be under siege. As the battle rages on Sabo will probably appear due to having Luffy's Beaver card and having a vendetta against Akainu. I can see that this arc can having the theme of revenge and rebirth. Revenge is incredibly significant as both Sabo and Luffy have a hatred and want Akainu to pay for his crimes of killing their brother. I say rebirth as the marines have been reborn to become an incredible offensive force to eliminate and control the new world, a different philosophy that they held before the time skip under Sengoku. The new marine force also comes with a new marine fort, which looks better and stronger than the old marine fort. The straw hats have also gone under rebirth as they have become stronger, wiser, and an overall a menacing force in the new world, especially with the straw hat grand fleet under their wing. Moon arc. Something that Oda has teased and showcased before but hasn't gone back or been mentioned since is the moon. Yes, the moon is a location that people can visit and explore in the One Piece world. While we don't know how or when the Straw Hats will visit in the moon, we do know that an arc on the moon is going to happen. We first saw the moon can be located during Enel's cover story. During the Skypiea arc, Enel was building a large flying ship that could take him to the moon or Fairy Verth as he called it. At the end of the arc, Enel takes his ship to the moon. During the Enel's cover story, he arrives at the moon with no seemingly no problem whatsoever, despite the moon being in space and space having no oxygen, but that doesn't seem to be the problem. Throughout the cover story, Enel encounters other life and other beings on the moon. The machines on the moon show Enel the ancient writings that are written inside a cave. Enel then takes over the machine and other life on the moon, hoping to build an empire on the moon. While it seems incredibly odd for people to even get to the moon, Oda would never add something that he isn't going to use later in the story. Oda as a master storyteller would always plant its seeds that would later flourish and come to fruition later in the story. Since the moon had ancient writings of people who have lived there previously, this location becomes crucial to the lore of the One Piece world. As fans are very familiar with, One Piece has a mysterious and rich history that many fans have been attempting to put together for years. Having this cave featured and teased provides the reader that the moon is much more important than readers believe it to be. Considering the mysterious nature and lack of information that readers have in regards to history of One Piece, especially the Void Century. Readers have been very anxious to know the true history of the world, there you go. These are the remaining arcs theorized by someone. Thank you for watching.